God cares about the cares you're carrying. It's a lot of cares. I'll say that one more time. God cares about the cares you're carrying for your health, for that habit that you seem stuck in, for that mountain looming over you, for that hope that was crushed and the pain that you're carrying. God cares about it. And if you will open up the Bible, he will meet you in the pages of Scripture. And our gracious God will be giving you help and hope to guide and strengthen you for your journey. So, can I ask you a question this morning as we get into the Word? Do you need to know right now, no matter what age or stage of life you're in, do you need to know right now that you can trust God no matter what? I do. And, and what you'll find in the pages of this book are stories, actually accounts, of real people with big problems who trusted God. And if you open up this book, God will teach you successively, one thing at a time, how to trust him with anything. But, but if we don't use the Bible for what it's for, for what God intended it for, we won't be equipped to do what God has called us to do. And listen, I know as soon, don't tune now. Because as soon as I say what God has called us to do, there's some of you who say, oh, okay, Joe, like, um, you know, that calling word, that, that applies to pastors and like missionaries and, uh, you know, people like that. But, but that calling word, that, that doesn't really apply to me. I just have a, a regular job. I just have, you know, a, a regular family. You know, God's not calling us to, you know, go into the ministry or move to another country. No, 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 no. We are all servants of God who are called to serve the Lord Jesus in this world. The majority, the vast majority of people who God has used to radically change this world are people with regular jobs and regular families and what more regular place is there than Broome County, New York to live out our faith in Jesus, right? 2 Timothy 3, again. All scripture is God-breathed and is useful. Are we using it? For teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. Why? Just so we could be smarter? So we could impress people with Bible knowledge? No, so that the servant of God, you and me, may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. So let me ask you a question. Are you a servant of the Lord? Some of us, truth be told, if you just followed us around for seven days, what would be apparent is that we serve the God of our appetites, the God of our bellies, the God of sex, the God of money, or whatever else, whatever kind of direction or distraction we're trying to chase and spending our time, our attention, and our finances to please them. But if you've placed your faith in Jesus Christ, Jesus calls you to reorder your priorities. Through your faith, this is what has happened. You've been made new. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, for the person who has placed their faith in Jesus, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone. The new is here. Jesus has broken every bit of bondage in you. You just have to learn how to live in that power. Do you think that God did all of that? going to the cross and rising from the grave so that you could stay where you were? No. God sent the Holy Spirit to fill you so that you could live the reality of what this word says is true about you in theory. And did God do all of that? Making you new and giving his spirit to you to fill you. 
so that you could just hang out until heaven? No. We can't miss the so that in the verse so that you and I could be equipped for every good work. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 says this, for we are God's handiwork. In other translations says his masterpiece created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Jesus has called you to do the tasks he is assigned to.